Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome to Money Talk, guys. This is your host, Keon Corniff, also known as Mr. Fornance. And I just want to welcome you guys again into another great morning. As you know, this week, our themes in our way is the, you know, the wealth formula, where we've been talking about money plus time plus or minus rate of return, um, minus inflation, minus tax, and that equals wealth. And as you already know, we've been talking about it all week. And, you know, if you listened to yesterday's call, then you would have heard uh, we, we covered about time and rate of return. And today we're going to talk about minus inflation. And what is inflation and what is it all about? Why is inflation the way it is? And how can we um, take the necessary steps that we need in order to start winning the money game? Because winning the money game is important, right? We all want to be wealthy. We all want to be successful. We all want to have the greater things in life. And it's important for us to know how um, inflation could work against us if we're not prepared for it. Because one of the things about inflation is that, you know, it's a silent killer. It's a silent killer that nobody's talking about. You know, nobody's talking about it. Nobody's ever, you know, um, bring it up as a topic. Nobody's talking about the cost of living and how it's going up here in America. Nobody's talking about um, how is it that people are saving all this money for retirement and still can't stay retired with it. Uh, why is it that many families are not prepared for retirement due to the fact that inflation um, actually uh, could hurt the ability for them to, for future savings, right? Inflation is really, I'm telling you, it's a silent killer, man. It's like carbon monoxide, you know? You just, <laughs> you just, you, you, you just can't be prepared for it, you know? And that's something that, you know, we want to be in a position to be prepared for and always be prepared for because, like I said, guys, if we don't learn the formula, and how we're going to take the initiatives, um, the initial um, steps in order to be prepared for it. Because, like I said, it's one thing to know, but it's also another thing to truly understand. And even if you know, do you truly understand, right? That's why we say the wealth formula is one of the most probably greatest guides ever created in order for someone to truly build wealth to know what to use and what to look for, right? And what to look out for. So let's get right into it, right? Inflation, because inflation is it's something simple to understand how it works for you and, and also how it could work against you, right? And I'm going to tell you how some of these things are market to you in a sense to make it sound like it's good for you, right? So we got to look at what's going on out there. Why, why, why we, why, why things are the way they are, right? So let's break down inflation. As you know, I told you, inflation is a silent killer, right? Inflation is a silent killer. When you think of the word inflation, I want you to say silent killer. So when I say inflation, you say silent killer. Inflation, silent killer. Inflation, silent killer. All right. That's the best way to remember what inflation is. And when you think about inflation, guys, and why inflation is such a silent killer is because think about the fact that let, let's think about how, how this really works. Let me break it down some more. Let's say that, you know, you said, man, what is inflation? The best way to describe someone uh, what inflation is, is pretty much inflation is the rise of price and goods and services over time. All right. I want you to say this again. All right. When you think about inflation, inflation is the rise of prices of goods and services over a period of time. That's what inflation is. You see, when the price, you see, when the price increase, it means that your purchasing power decreases. For example, if you're hundred, if you had a hundred dollars today, it means that your hundred dollars will only worth ninety-six dollars and fifty cents the next year if inflation was at a 3.5%. Now, do you truly understand what I mean by this? Let's, all right, let's say that the cost of living goes up by 3.32 or 3.35%, right? 3.5%. Every year, the cost of living goes up to that, right? Let's say that that happened. Now, let's say that the first year this happened, you had $100. 
You went to the store, something cost you $100, right? You give them $100, you get what you get. The next year, you come back with $100. Inflation gone up 3.5%. You come back with $100, pick up the same amount of things. They're going to tell you that, hey, you need $3.50 more. Because every time inflation go up, it means that the money lose value, right? So every time inflation goes up, you lose value in your buying power of your money. Now, many people wonder, well, how does inflation happen to one country? Well, let me give you the insight. You see, inflation happens when our country prints more money than it actually earns. Let me be a little bit more specific. Every time the Federal Reserve print more money than it actually earns, this means that we lose power and buying power of our money. Yes, that's what inflation is. So it doesn't matter if you're rich or poor, and it definitely doesn't matter if you got a lot of money or not, you will lose value of your money as well. That's inflation. So why do you think the rich people pay attention and they want to know, where can I put my money to get a better rate of return? And if I'm going to borrow somebody's money, I want to make sure that I borrow that money at a lower rate of return. Why do you think they have to keep up with make sure that the interest that they're earning on their money over a period of time is higher than what the inflation is? I told you, it doesn't matter what you keep and it doesn't matter what you earn. It's all about the interest upon what you keep. And this is how you truly earn. That's why inflation is a silent killer because if you don't know how to plan for it and plan against it, then how can you be prepared for it, right? How can you be prepared for it? Guys, we got to learn how to start winning the money game, right? We got to start learning how to win the money game. You see, no one breaks this down for us. Now, did you know there was a time in our life where the money wasn't able to be printed as frequently as it does now, right? And the reason why that was is because the money was backed by something. So each time they had to print a dollar bill, it was based upon the amount of gold that was back it. That's why I said money haven't been money since 1971 right? Money haven't been money since 1971. Because 1971, when money was money, it had to be backed by something. So every time they printed a dollar, or they printed two dollars, then there was a certain amount of gold to back that two dollars, that hundred dollars, or whatever. But because there's no thing, nothing that the money's backed by, it now can be print and the more they print and put in the economy, it's called hyperinflation, where more currency is inside the economy than what is actually being made by the country. So because of this, the cost of living goes up because the more money supply that is dumped into the economy, people want more of that money, so they raise the price. They raise the price. It's like playing Monopoly. The best way to explain this to you is like paying Monopoly. Once you buy a property on the Monopoly board, remember, you can't really charge them rent. But the minute you buy one little house, now that property you can pay, you can ask for a little bit more when they land on your property on Monopoly. And when you buy two houses, the price goes up. You buy three houses, the price goes up. And when you put a hotel on there, that thing gone tripled up, quadruple. That's what inflation is because the more money that is dumped into the economy the more your supermarket your 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 your, your the the um the mechanics you know lawyers all these people are going to raise their price because they realize that there's more money in the economy so they want to grab it it's like hungry hippo they're just trying to grab them all how can we grab the money? Let's raise the price, 3%, right? Let's raise the price for the service, 
right? Why do you think supermarket, the price of things goes up every year, right? You see, guys, we really got to know what's going on out there. And if we don't start learning how to plan for it and prepare for it, then how are we going to start winning the money game? That's why I tell you that it's easy to understand finance if you have access to the guide, right? If you have access to the guide. And the guide is easy, guys. It is super, super easy. So inflation, guys, once again, is the price, is the rise in prices of goods and services over a period of time. When inflation happens, it happens because every time our country prints more money than it actually earns, the result is that everybody will lose some value of their money. That's why some people refer to inflation as a hidden tax system in our current monetary system. We need to talk more about inflation. We need to understand why saving with inflation in the back of our head is important. Because if we don't truly start learning what inflation is, then we will never be prepared for the money game. We will never be prepared for what is coming to us. And we must be prepared. We must understand. So let me give you an idea. If you still don't understand what inflation is yet, let me give you an example of how inflation works. Or better yet, let me give you some historical facts because people love facts now. Did you know since 1914 to 2014, did you know that our US inflation rate averaged at 3.32%? Did you know that? Did you know that our inflation rate from 1914 to 2014 averaged at 3.32%, right? When you think about that, you got to really look into things and say, wow, right? So someone once asked me and said, Kia, well, what is our current inflation rate at? What is our current inflation rate, right? And just so you know, each state, the inflation rate is different. Each state, listen to me what I'm saying to you. Each state, the inflation rate is different here in America. But since, let me give you some updated numbers, all right? They said here, I'm looking online. It says, as of 2018, the US inflation rate was at 2.44%. That was 2018. If I remember correctly, I believe it's at 2.88 now, all right? So someone may look and say, well, inflation has dropped. Yes, it goes up and down, depending on how well our country is doing. All right? Inflation happened, uh, goes up and down based upon how our country is doing. So if our country is in bad shape, what do you think is going to happen to the cost of living? It goes up. The cost of living doesn't go down when our country is doing bad. No, it goes up. All right, just keep that in mind. But let's, let, 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 let me give you some example of how inflation, not being planning for inflation could hurt us. Let's say that you plan to have $4,000 coming into you, right? When you're ready to retire, right? You said, hey, I, want, I, I would need $4,000 a month coming into me when I retire and you're making that decision or making that choice or you're making these assumptions based on the cost of living today. Now, what does that mean for you later? Let's say that 20 years later gone by now, right? And inflation was at 3%, right? Inflation is at 3%. Did you know 
that 20 years later at a 3% inflation rate, you will need to have $7,224 per month in order to have the same purchasing power like you planned for the $4,000 20 years prior. So my question to you is, are you prepared for that? Are you prepared for that? Are you ready for that what's coming? Are you willing to learn more about that? Are you going to be in a position to start doing that? If you think you need $10,000 a month in today's value of things, what do you think it's going to be if inflation was at 3%? What do you think it's going to be when inflation is at 4% or even 2%? Do you, are you planning for that? Are you planning for the cost of living to go up when you get time to retire? Do you understand what that means for your money, whatever you plan for to the cost of living today? What is the price of bread going to be 20 years from now? What is the price of gas going to be 20 years from now? What is the price of any services and goods that you're getting right now, the supermarket or services from your mechanic, what do you think the price is gonna be 20 years from now? And my question to you is, are you prepared for it? That's why it's important to learn the wealth formula. Because once you understand how money plus time plus or minus rate of return, minus inflation, minus tax, and that, equals wealth that equals wealth my friends and you must know why the wealthy people why the wealthy people pay such close attention to interest on their money and why they understand how to plan and prepare for inflation but the real question here, and this is the question I'm gonna leave you with. The real question that I have for you today, my friends, are you, are you prepared for it? Are you prepared for inflation? Are you planning your retirement with inflation in mind? Are you ready for those unexpected costs of living? Are you ready? And if you feel that you're not ready, that's why it's important that you sit down with one of our educators. And it's important that you get in touch with the person that invited you to come listen to this and ask them, what can I do to prepare for this? What should I do? How do I prepare for this? How do I educate myself? Because if you never knew about inflation until today, then I, I'm here to tell you, my friends, that I'm glad you came and you listened because now, you're, now you can know what to go do, how to go plan. And at least you can ask the person that invited you, what should I do? How do I prepare myself? How do I equip myself with the knowledge? Because the information is very needed and you must understand it, all right? So thank you all for tuning in, right? Remember to always check out Money Talk. Um, or you can go to our Spotify and you know stream us over there, have Money Talk on the go. Remember to go to our YouTube, Right, type in Money Talk with Mr. Finance. Check out the playlist and remember to like, subscribe, and comment. Or you can even go to SoundCloud. Yeah, you could download the app and type in Money Talk with Mr. Finance. Or you can go to our iTunes and listen to our podcast on there as well. All right. You you know, you can always follow us on uh, Instagram, uh, Facebook, all of that good stuff. And get in touch. Get in tune with the with the money talk. And remember to tell a friend to tell a friend. And have them catch up. And just one more thing before um, I let you guys know. Just know that we're coming up on our 40th episode of Money Talk. That is big numbers, right? 40th episode of Money Talk. And a lot of archive of great information. 
that you guys can now take on the go and constantly listen to. All right. So thank you all for always supporting and tuning in. And until next time, my name is Keon Corniff, also known as Mr. Finance. And I just want to remind you that you're one decision away from changing your future for the better. So always remember, the choice is always yours. Thank you guys for tuning in. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for what we're going to be talking about, breaking down taxes. All right? We're going to be talking about breaking down taxes. And it's important for us to know more about taxes. And I can't wait to give you more insight on taxes. All right? So thank you guys. See you tomorrow. God bless.